William Funnell riding yet another Billy horse here in the World Cup at Olympia. You must be really excited. Yes, you know, the Billy Stud's something over the last 15 years that Donald Barman himself created and, and now it's a big operation and we've got a, you know, 15, 20 people working for us who are involved in the, um, the whole production and, and breeding and, you know, to get horses through to this level. To also rode today is actually son of Billy Congo, um, my Grand Prix horse, probably best not suited to these tight indoor rings usually. Um, he's one that normally I jump in the Hicks to Derby, but um, yes. And you're really championing Brit British breeding here. I, I mean, what, what is your long-term objective with the Billy Stud? Um, you know, I think in Europe for a long time there's been a lot of professional breeders who actually earn a living out of breeding. Um, and obviously with us, because Pippa and myself ride, we also do the production bit. It's something we miss out on the UK, in the UK and probably we're definitely the largest commercial stud but there's a lot of people hobby breed in the UK but a, a lot of people don't realise that it can be commercial. Um, so yes, you know, um, yeah, we have to sell to survive because the, the, the studs are only income. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of grassland out there that's not used and yes, people talk about, you know, if you breed from the right mare and the right uh, use the right stallion, then it shows that, that you can you can make money out of it, and it's great for British show jumping. Um, people are far more likely to get a good horse and keep a good horse if it's bred here in the UK because um, you know it's romantic breeding your, you know breeding your own horse. So, where and who are you selling these horses to? Yeah, I mean this time of year with with Florida big circuit coming up in America. There'd be a lot of, we'd, we'd have a lot this time of year that would go to America and all, all around the world. You know, it's nice that, we, that, that if we can export to Germany and Holland, it means we're doing a good job. So, you know, and, and you know, it's worldwide. The same with the seamen, you know, the, um, uh, you know, you can, you can use any stallion from anywhere in the world on your mare. You know, the mare is very important. You get a good mare. You know, we, we uh, you know, now I think because of the Billy Stud name, um, we get a lot of people that, that want to come and they want to know the history of a horse from the day it hit the ground. You know, that's also nice. So it's really trying to get that out there. Um, we use a lot of advertising media. Horse Scout's been very good in promoting us and getting people from all around the world to know what we're, um, what we're doing. And as well as show jumping, there's been a, a lot of great eventers. I mean, can you name a few advanced eventers you've got? Uh, Borough Penny Z was, was, was one that went very well in London. Pippa, my wife, had um, Billy the Biz in Rio, was, had an unfortunate uh, run out at the end in the cross country, but quite an experienced horse. He's actually by our stallion Kevin Z, who I had a horse yesterday, young horse here yesterday, jumped very well in the big class by Kevin Z, so it's nice to see um, our stallion. You know, Horses by our stallions out there doing well as well. So, um, and obviously, yes, Billy Congo, probably my main Grand Prix horse that I've had most of the success with uh, recently. He's yeah, had a small injury, so he wasn't going to be ready for here. So, um, probably a little bit down on, on, the, on, on the top of my string, but um, it's lovely to be here. And for you, your personal ambitions, where, where are you off to next? What are you hoping to do long term? I mean, obviously, to really to grow the stud as, as, as we want to, as we would like to, it's important to keep selling. And it's the really good horses that people want to come and buy normally. So it's really tough in the, the market as it is to be able to hang on to the, to the good horses and really to, to get better mares, to really to improve what we're doing. You know, this year we did, I think, I think three quarters were by embryo transfer, so we take uh, embryos from our better mares. So instead of having one mare, one foal from your best mare, you can have five or six if you're lucky. So nearly, I think this year we had nearly 45 embryos, which is quite an expense in itself, but it also is is improving the quality of our stock all the time. So that's all, that's you know quite an expense. So sometimes yes. The, the competition competing has to take a little bit back seat to that but I still really enjoy show jumping and as long as I can feel I can do a good job then uh, I'll continue as long as I can.
And what sort of prices are they commanding when they get to top level, these produced horses? Um, I mean, going global, the horse that Greg, Greg Broderick rode in, uh, at, uh, in Rio, reputedly made 12, 12 million euros. So when you talk about, you know, you've got uh, Anassas, you've got uh, Jobs, you've got uh, so many wealthy people who are involved in the sport and want to buy the best. So if your horse is the best for that particular person and they're going to suit that particular rider, then horses make that sort of money. Um, you know, and I would say, you know, to, to leave a show, it's great to be here, but to go home on a Monday and work with the young ones and, you know, start getting a new bunch of three-year-olds in and see if we got any new stars. You know, also, not everybody wants to be here jumping at Olympia. So somewhere there's a horse for everybody at every, every level if he doesn't have to be a super talented uh, World Cup horse. So it's trying to, it's, you know, it's, it's fun trying to place those horses in the right uh, in the right places. You know, this year we had an online auction, we sold some three-year-olds and it was our first sort of um, time dipping our toe in that sort of thing and it, it got us some good publicity. All right, probably horses could have made more, but I think for the first time it's something we'll do next year. Um, finally, we, we've actually seen you wearing some new stirrups today. Tell us about that. Yes, I've been using gin stirrups and I must say, I found them very good this week. You know, normally to change just before an international show, normally I was feeling, am I going to be happy in the big ring when the jumps are big and lose the stirrup? But I must say, they're a lot lighter. Sometimes when they're lighter, it means when you lose them, you can't catch them. But I must say they've been really good because they've got a really good grip on the bottom. So they've gone down very well this week.